I want to quickly go over the ideas that we discussed Monday night on uh, the mean of a probability distribution. In this case, in this example, here's a probability distribution and these are the returns and I'm interested in the average or mean return. So that is computed by using a sum product where I multiply the probabilities times their associated returns. So the average market return is 15.3 percent and the uh, variance is going to be equal to the difference between a return and the mean squared so it's always positive and I want this to be uh, stuck in place and I can drag that down and so the uh, variance is oops, is equal to the sum product of the probability of this uh, variance occurring and the actual variance and then uh, the standard deviation is the square root get square root of uh, the variance so that's if you're given these probabilities and oftentimes you you don't have those probabilities you've got a whole bunch of data and from that data you need to calculate things like the um, average of that probab probabilistic distribution of big data so instead of calculating like this you would actually calculate uh, the average return if you had a whole bunch of data uh, so let's calculate, let's just create a whole bunch of data and I'll use um, some uh, functions that are available to us. And the first thing I want to do is, is create a cumulative probability distribution. So what I'm doing is, is saying that, so what I want is a cumulative distribution, probability distribution. So what I'm going to do is take this probability plus the previous one and uh, drag that down and what this means is that if I'm between 0 and 12 there's a 23 percent return and if I'm between 12 and 52 but less than 52 I'll have an eight, um, 18 percent return on the market so this is the cumulative probability distribution and it looks it has a, a look like this it, it has a, a sort of cumulative look so here we have the cumulative distribution cumulative distribution and these are the uh, market returns associated with that and what I'm going to do is uh, calculate a random number between 0 and 1 and it's going to correspond to uh, uh, some return. So if this was uh, happened to be, uh, well it's 0.22, well 0.22 it's going to come down here and say oh that's that's an 18 percent return because it's less than 52, 0.52. And what we can do is take this RAND function and uh, look up in, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say RAND, I'm going to look up a random value in this table, and I'll go ahead and put it, uh, stick it in place, and return the second value, and I can have an approximate match, so it'll, it'll, find the, the first one that is um, you know, the first one that meets the criteria. So here's a, a whole bunch of um, returns. So these are these are returns, these are all percents. There's a whole bunch of returns associated with some random uh, numbers. And I can drag this down and the uh, book has about um, 500 of these or, or so. So I'll, I'll drag down um, enough to get a, a fair number. So there's 
um, 515 or, or so. And the idea here is that if I take the mean of this set of data, then it'll be the same or similar or close to the actual calculated one based on the, the given probabilities. So if I say average of this, and I'm going to use the end down and enter, there's 15%. And I'll make that uh, a little bit more resolution there, precision. And the standard deviation, I'll say, is equal to standard deviation of the uh, population or the sample. It'll be about the same. And it's also really close to uh, what was calculated um, mathematically. So here's the big data, all this stuff here. And here's one calculated uh, this way. So what I'm saying is normally we don't have these. We have all this data here. And you can calculate a, a, an average return and a, a standard deviation in the normal way. Now, I think I'll, I'll show you one more thing. I'm, I'll do a, a frequency. Uh, count. So this will be a, a distribution. And we use this function fairly often. It's called frequency, and it's an array function. So here's all the data. And I want to put that data into uh, certain bins. I want to put that data into these bins and uh, count them. So how many times did a 23% a occur? Well, it occurred um, 57 times. And how many times did a 199 occur? Well, it, it or sorry, an 18%. It occurred 199 times. If I uh, sum all those up, uh, those are 505 uh, 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 instances. And if I take this and divide by 505, it should be kind of close to the numbers used to uh, generate all those, uh, all those instances. So 0 0.13, 0 0.12, 0 0.4, 0 0.38, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 they're, they're pretty close. And every